Hello children. In our lesson today, we are going to be writing a character description of Sam from the story of Sam's Duck. We're going to use all the fabulous words that we collected on Tuesday in our lesson to describe Sam and all our skills that we learned yesterday in creating expanded noun phrases. So we've got quite a lot to include in our lesson today. Now, before we start, you might want to go back and watch story of Sam's Duck again on YouTube via the link on our remote learning page. You might want to add some more ideas to your um, planning. You might always want to also want to have a look at the photograph that I've added to our remote learning page. It's a, a photograph of some of the ideas that our key worker children in school came up with when we thought about the character of Sam and collected our ideas on Tuesday as well. So using those ideas, we are then going to turn those into a character description. Now, if you think back to our lesson on Tuesday, we said that when we write about a character, we write about two things. We write about what they look like, and we write about the kind of person they are. We write about things you can see, so how their face is, whether they're tall, whether they're short, the colour hair, their eyes, and we call that their appearance. And then we write about their personality, and we only know about their personality from the things that they do or the things that they say or how they treat other people. So personality is the things that you can't see when you look at somebody. Appearance is what you can see. When we write our character description, we're going to keep those two things separate. We're going to write about their appearance first and then we're going to write about um, personality. Now, if you look in the PDF file, I have provided an example of a character description and it's linked to a character from another story. It's a little girl called Hannah for another story. So I'm going to read this to you and I'm going to sort of talk you through it as I read it and then we're going to have a go and see how that links to what we might say about Sam. So this is what I wrote about Hannah. Hannah was a pretty little girl with big blue eyes and long brown hair that she always wore in a high ponytail. She was just seven years old and quite small for her age. You would usually see her dressed in jeans and a t-shirt rather than a frilly dress as she was a bit of a tomboy. So that's what I, how I've described Hannah's appearance. And that's all I've said about how Hannah looks. And I've said that right at the beginning. I then go on to talk about the kind of person Hannah is, her personality. So listen to what I say about Hannah. Hannah was very much like you or me. She went to school and helped around the house. She was kind and considerate and always did as she was told. She never caused any trouble. She looked after her toys and because she was quite clever, was always willing to help out her friends if they were stuck with their work. However, she was not boastful or big headed. She genuinely cared for everyone. Although she worked hard in every lesson, her favorite was art. In fact, she was a very talented artist and her teacher was always saying that one day Hannah's pictures will be worth a lot of money. Hannah hoped so as she had great plans to help out her family who really didn't have very much money at all. So can you see in that part of my writing, I've talked about the kind of person Hannah is and I've explained why I think she's like that. So I've said that she was very clever because she was always willing to help out her friends, but she didn't boast about it and she wasn't big headed. She genuinely cared for everybody. I've talked about her being an artist and that, um, how her teacher was always saying that she was very talented and she hoped so because she wanted to help out her family. So she showed how much, how caring she was. And that links back to her being kind and considerate. So I've linked some of the evidence from the text to back up my ideas about what kind of person Hannah was. So let's think about Sam. Now, there is, we don't know a lot about Sam's physical appearance. We can see the pictures and we kind of have to make some guesses about it. And if you look at the photograph on the remote learning page, you can see that uh, our key worker children thought that Sam was probably about seven years old. Uh, you might think he's a little bit older. And we thought also he was quite tall for his age. Um, and there are things that we can pick out about his um, hair colour, his eye colour and the clothes that he wears. So we might want to say something like this about Sam's appearance. Sam was a young boy with 
big brown eyes and short, straight black hair. He was about seven years old and quite tall for his age. If ever you saw him, he would always be wearing jeans and a sweatshirt. He took pride in his appearance and always looked neat and tidy. And that will probably be enough to explain what Sam looked like. So I'd like you now to pause the video. I'd like you to get your writing paper ready and I'd like you to write me two or three sentences to tell me what Sam looked like. Now we're going to be writing in the past tense, we're going to be using our ED endings. I'd like you to use lots of descriptions, so creating some expanded noun phrases for me. And I'd like you to remember to use your capital letters and your full stops. Come back to me once you've written two or three sentences about Sam's appearance. Welcome back children. Now we've written about how Sam looks or what Sam looks like. We're going to write about the kind of person he was. Now you've got lots of ideas on your planning and you can use the ideas on our remote learning page as well. Now our key worker children thought that Sam was um, a very kind and compassionate young man who wanted to um, please his granddad by getting him a very special present for his birthday. But also we knew he was kind and caring because of how he looked after the duck. We thought he was brave or courageous because he stood up to the red-faced man. It must have been quite a difficult thing to do. Remember, Sam's only a little boy and the red-faced man was clearly quite a nasty character. He was quite resourceful and quite clever because he managed to hide the duck for while he was at the farm from the rest of his friends and his teacher. Um, and the only person that knew about the duck was the gardener. And he also managed to smuggle the duck onto the coach and get the duck home and into Grandad's flat without anybody apart from Mona Lisa knowing. And he managed to trick uh, Mona Lisa or to trick his teacher into thinking that Mona Lisa was hearing things and being very silly. We also know from the story that Sam wasn't keen on going to the farm because he didn't want to miss Grandad's birthday because that tells us how much he loved his Grandad. But when he got there, he really enjoyed it and he really took to life in the countryside. He even helped a, lamb give, a sheep give birth to a lamb, which must have been amazing, especially for a city child. Remember back to Monday when we looked at uh, why this story was written and it's about a real farm where children who live in a city and who never get to go out to the countryside can go and spend some time. So taking all those into account, we might want to start off with the really obvious thing about Sam um, not really wanting to go to to the farm uh, because he loved his granddad so much. So we might say something like this. Sam lived in the city with his granddad, who he loved very much. In fact, Sam loved his granddad so much, he didn't want to leave him to go on the school trip. However, when he got to the farm, Sam discovered that life in the countryside was lots of fun. He was keen to try all the activities and even helped a sheep give birth. So can you see there, I've linked the idea that he loved his granddad to the fact he didn't want to leave Grandad, and that he was reluctant to go to the farm, but when he got there, he really enjoyed it, and he was very keen, and I've illustrated the fact that he was keen by saying that he actually helped a sheep to give birth to a lamb. During his time on the farm, we see how brave Sam was when he stood up to the red-faced man and rescued the duck. He was very caring, gentle and kind, because he looked after the duck really well. He was also very clever and resourceful as he managed to hide the duck and smuggle it onto the coach without anyone apart from the gardener knowing. Sam was definitely a very optimistic little boy as he was sure that Grandad would love having a duck for a pet. So I've linked all my ideas back to the story so I've explained why I think that Sam is, has these um, personality traits and I've tried to approach it through the order of things that happened in the story. So I started with him loving Grandad at the beginning, not wanting to go to the farm. Then I moved on to what happened when he got to the farm. And obviously the main thing that happens is that he rescues the duck and he keeps it hidden and smuggles it home and looks after it really well. So I want you to take those ideas and now to carry on your description by writing about the kind of person you think Sam was. I'd like you to link your ideas back to evidence from the story if you can. Remember, I want you to write in the past tense. I want you to use correct punctuation, that's capital letters and full stops. And I want you to get in as many um, 
descriptive words as you can. Can't wait to read your work here too because I know it's going to be fantastic. So please send lots of emails to me and I will see you all tomorrow morning. Bye year two.